Guess what, kids? I think I found a winner here. Well, not really. I was told about it by Phil Mueller. The news is that Blue Systems and Manharo have teamed up to make a flagship operating system. Of course, I'm speaking about Netrunner Arch, and we're going to look at it right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, let's get started. As a matter of preference, I decided to move the panel to the top and I moved the icons to the bottom. Normally when I'm running Linux, I don't like any icons on my desktop. But this is a beautiful operating system, uh, as you can see. And I really like how everything is laid out here. Okay, now don't be fooled by the name. The name says Netrunner Arch, but this is Manharo. Just click the terminal button that you see on the screen, and this really cool drop down uh, uh, drops down for you. I thought that was pretty neat. And let's run uname space dash r, and you're going to see that this is using kernel 310.33 dash 2, the Manharo kernel. Now, Netrunner Arch is a rolling release distribution. This means you only install this once. I highly recommend that you run updates, though, at least once every two weeks at a bare minimum. This way, you can ensure there isn't any breakage when updates do happen. Because if you skip a version as uh, releases are coming out, it can cause potential breakage. So, whenever you're running a rolling release distribution, you want to continuously keep it updated. This way you avoid any troubles. The beauty of this is it is based on Manharo, and Manharo is a stable operating system. They apply all the Arch uh, patches for you, thereby taking you out of the equation where user intervention would normally be required if you were to be using an Arch-based system. Let's have a look and see what you get with this. First, if you look at the upper right corner, you have the cashews here, which will allow you to reposition uh, your uh, panel wherever you want it. You can have it on the left, the right, top, or bottom. Okay, and uh, I'm going to collapse this. And to hide this cashew, you just right-click, go into Panel Options, and select Lock Widgets, and then that, then that uh, cashew will disappear for you, and you won't accidentally move your panel around. Okay, you have uh, an information button here, and nothing is coming up on this presently as I click on that. You do have the time and a calendar here. You have your network connectivity, a volume control, a clipboard manager, and you have your drop-down terminal button, which I thought was a beautiful touch. And I'll have to figure out how to do that with the XFCE drop-down terminal I have. I think it would be cool to have a little icon that will uh, raise and uh, lower that. I think that's pretty darn neat. You have a quick launch to Firefox. And this has a bunch of uh, added plugins thrown in on this. Plus, it also has... Uh, a quick launch to the Netrunner home. This is where you will go for support. And then, of course, the Netrunner mag, which is, I believe, their blog. So, you know, all the latest information on this OS is located here. And you can see you got the add-ons uh, included here, uh, an ad blocker, and you also uh, get a video uh, downloader as well. Very nice indeed. You get a quick launch to the Dolphin File Manager, and you notice how quickly everything is loading here, even in a virtual machine. This is perfection. The the uh, the uh, KDE developers for uh, Netrunner have actually joined the Manharo team, so they're going to be making a lot of improvements. And I just think this is magnificent what they have done here. I mean, it's just fast, it's snappy, it's very responsive, and I'm very, very, very amazed with this. And, uh, of course, you know, all the fun things that you love about 
uh, dolphin. And the thing is, this is highly configurable. You can make dolphin appear any way that you want. You can have side panels or none at all. The possibilities are endless. There are so many customization features. You can actually get lost in all the features. Now, this menu that, uh, that this operating system uses is called Home Run Kicker. And I think this is a cracking little menu here. I like it a lot better than the default menus that normally ship with KDE. And I'll give you a quick rundown of some of the applications that you get with this, and then I'll go over uh, your package management. Okay, you get a number of games to get your game on, obviously, with the inclusion of Steam. Uh, nothing really fancy with the default game layouts, but... Excellent time wasters, I might say. You get a number of graphics tools to edit all of your images. Uh, you get the GIMP, Gwenview, uh, Krita, which I happen to like a lot, uh, a scanner and that sort of thing, an internet. You have all the tools for accessing friends and family. So you can surf the internet, you can instant message your friends. Uh, they even included Marble with this. You get a BitTorrent client, Skype, and then manage your email. In multimedia, everything you need for playing and creating videos. You get uh, Clementine for managing those uh, those uh, audio and video files. You get Kadian Live, my personal favorite, where video editing is concerned in Linux. You get VLC, which will chop up any videos you throw at it. You get Voco Screen for screen capturing. Uh, in Office, you get the full LibreOffice suite included with this. Uh, a few settings tools. You get the Manharo Settings Manager here, uh, which will allow you to install free, non-free drivers. Uh, you also uh, can manage all of your system settings, and everything is centrally located in this application. So you can manage uh, everything to do with your system right here. You get a bunch of system tools included with this for adding and removing software. You can manage your partitions. You can even customize Grub. They've thrown that in here, kids. Uh, you get console, case syscard for managing uh, your uh, tasks. That is like a, a little task management uh, program that they've got thrown in there. And a bunch of other tools. And then, of course, a number of utilities. So, I mean, this has your disk burner, your archiver, your calculator, uh, everything that you need. This is a complete and comprehensive operating system. Now, Let's move on to package management. Unlike the standard version, this uses a different package manager. This uses Pac-Man. And the front end that comes included with this, see this little green ghost here? This is called Octopi. This is a cute or QT front end for Pac-Man. And it also enables AUR or Arch User Repository support. So if there isn't, if you're looking for something that is not in the repositories, you can click here to go into Yower and search the AUR, and this will build things for you on the fly. Personally, I prefer Pamac. I think it's a better package manager uh, for this, but you could easily install that if you wanted to. Just do a search for it, and you'll see that 098-2 is available. So if you decide you don't like this package manager, you can just right-click on this and select Install. It'll tell you what dependencies that you can pull down for it. Press OK, and then press that green check mark, and it'll install it for you. But this is pretty good in its own right. It'll pretty much get anything that you'll need for installing on this system. If we take a look at KSysCard and the system monitor, you will see that this is using about 740 megs of RAM. That is pretty darn nice, especially considering all of the applications that I've just opened up and demonstrated, and I've been playing around in this for a little while, and it's really not using up that many resources. So this is very, very good indeed. The only downside to this is it's only available in 32-bit. So for those of you who have more than 4 gigs of RAM, you might want to get a PAE kernel to slap into this to be able to use all of that memory. It's my hope that we will eventually see a 64-bit edition of this because this is a beautiful operating system. This is something I would definitely use. But this is good enough to run on older hardware, 
I'd say computers uh, that are five years, five to seven years old or newer. So very beautiful operating system. I think the, the Manharo and the Netrunner team have done a beautiful job on this. And I would highly recommend this to newcomers because you could actually make good use of this operating system without even ever having to uh, click the terminal button here. And not only that, you have a lot of terrific support online. You can get support from the Manharo forums. You can get support from the Netrunner forums. And you can get support from the Arch Wiki. I wouldn't use their forums because they only support the Arch operating system. But the Arch Wiki has everything you would possibly want to know about fixing errors and that sort of thing on any on just about any Arch-based system. And I find myself relying on it quite heavily. So I recommend that you guys check that out. Well, that's all I have on this. And as a reminder, please consider supporting the show hosts who bring you the content you enjoy the most by disabling your ad blockers. And also be sure to get your Cup of Linux gear at cupoflinux.com. We'll see you later. Mm -hmm.